Happy New Year, Spinsters. It's a time for fresh beginnings, new starts, and New Year's resolutions. Did you make a bunch of resolutions last year? Think back on it. How did that go? This is it. This is the year I resolved to wake up on time every morning. <gasps> what? Nah, damn it. This is it. This is the year that I stop eating chips. Damn it. This is it. This is the year that I stop swearing. What the fuck? Damn it. But this year, this year's gonna be different, right? Of course it will. It has to be. Because this is the year that I finally get my shit together. I have a fuck ton of things that I wanna do. Well, this video is about how to keep those resolutions, but it's also kind of about how to make the resolutions in the first place. Because it's easy to talk a big game about the things that you want to do, I'll give you an example. Last month, I made a video stating that I was going to be more consistent in creating content and would deliver one video per week. Here's what I can promise you. A regular upload schedule. Expect a video every Friday morning. Two weeks in, I realized that I'd bitten off more than I could chew. On paper, I am very ambitious. But in real life, real life happens. When I do the math on how long I need to spend on creating a weekly video, and I mean like a good video, including all the other things I need to do, there just aren't enough hours in the day to make videos to the standard that I want. Releasing them weekly just isn't feasible. So channel announcement, I will be releasing videos every other week. I know that none of you are actually affected or disappointed that I'm releasing fewer videos, but I do feel like I'm letting you down. Letting me down? I don't know. Anyway, my whole point of telling you this is to illustrate how setting unrealistic goals will set you up to fail. Like how most New Year's resolutions fail. Your intentions behind setting them are really, really good, but the reality of changing your habits is fucking hard. It's not hard to change your habits. See, look, I'm doing it. I'm, ch I'm changing, I'm working out while doing my taxes and and flossing at the same time. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah. Choose realistic resolutions. Run a marathon? That could be a realistic resolution for someone who's already running 10 miles a day. But for me, who hates running and can only sprint for half a block before I'm winded, it's not. It's just not gonna happen. There are too many obstacles to overcome, like my distaste for running. Then there's adding a new habit of running every day. It's too big of a hurdle. All that will happen is I'll get defeated the first time I miss a run. I think it's also important to ask yourself, is this even a thing that I want? Or does it just sound impressive? What should you do instead? Set smaller goals. If you do eventually want to run a marathon, why in the name of nipple chafe would you want to though? Start by running a mile first. Use an app like Couch to 5K to gently ease yourself into running. That's why that app exists. A 5K is a reasonable distance for a novice runner to run. And then once your nipples have healed, then think about that marathon. And if you're enjoying this video, think about liking and subscribing. It's an easy resolution to keep. Set specific resolutions. One of the most common resolutions is probably eat healthier. What the fuck does that even mean? That could mean anything from eating fewer chips to drinking nothing but kale smoothies, neither of which is sustainable in the long run. Run a marathon is actually a very specific goal, but only if you decide which marathon. If your resolutions are wishy-washy, it's really easy to put them off and then feel like you failed and then beat yourself up for failing. So what do you do instead? Be very specific. Say, I'm going to run the LA Marathon in 2022. I'm going to eat a serving of vegetables at every meal. I'm gonna put do my taxes on the calendar and then actually do them. If you're able to get really specific on what your goals are, then it's probably a good sign that you're actually able to do them. Set a realistic number of goals. Humans are creatures of habit. We are really only capable of changing one habit at a time. Maybe two if you're really determined. Write down all the things that you wanna do. Get it out of your system, go hog wild. Then rank those resolutions in order of importance and get rid of everything below spots one and two. Don't try and negotiate yourself up to more resolutions. You get two New Year's resolutions at most. But here's the thing, you don't have to get rid of all the other ideas. They're written down, store that list somewhere. And once you've worked your way through your current list, you can add more things. My last tip on how to keep your resolutions, don't view the new year as the only time you can make big changes. 
Honestly, what is so special about the new year? January 1st is the worst day of the year to start anything new. You've been up late the night before, you've probably hung over, so don't put that pressure on yourself to start. You don't need a special occasion to do the things that are really important to you. So what do you do instead? Challenge yourself to start something new on a completely random day. An odd number day in the middle of the week, in the middle of the month. Whenever! If you catch yourself saying some shit like, I'll start working out on Monday, stop it and say, I'm gonna work out right now. Yeah! I'm gonna work out right now. Okay. Drop and give me 20. I mean, not like right now. You made a resolution. Okay. <laughs> Resolutions are hard. Thanks for watching.